Hey guys, Mike here at MA Tutorials, and welcome back. Well, uh, in front of you there is a uh, kind of a medieval chair that I did recently, and what I want to do today is to show you how you can export a file from Maya into Mudbox, how you can 3D paint it, and how you can bring that 3D paint job back into Maya. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. All right, we're gonna select our object like so. And we are going to go to uh, File, Export, Selection, like so. We're going to hit the Option box. We're going to make sure it's selected as an OBJ. And we're going to hit Export Selection. And we're going to save this, in this case, on my desktop. And I'll just call it Chair OBJ. All right. Save it on my desktop. And there we go. Then we're going to get into Mudbox. And I'll just uh, get rid of this. I'm going to go to open. I'm going to select my chair OBJ. Not going to save this. All right, so here's my chair. Now, I'm not going to get into Mudbox too much, and there's a lot of stuff going on here, and I'll get into that in uh, tutorials in the future. What I want to show you is how you can easily create a color or diffuse map uh, in Mudbox. Okay, so I'm going to go into my paint tool down here, and I'm going to select an airbrush. Okay, I'm going to just hit my color uh, board here and let's do some, I don't know, funky color. We'll do dark green, maybe something like that. Okay, and done. And then by holding down the B key and dragging, we can make our airbrush bigger or smaller. We're not going to make it too crazy. And I'm just going to go in here and add some color. Now, when I start painting, it's going to ask me to create a new layer. So when I click, there you go, it's going to say, OK, do you want to create a new layer, paint layer? Yes. Size 2048, and I want it to save it in it as a TIFF file. OK. All right, there we go. And now we're able to add color. And obviously, uh, it's in a mirroring, so it's uh, two way, but that's fine. And it's not really about you know the color that we're doing here. It's about the technique of imp importing, exporting. Okay. Just gonna take a, I don't know red. Doesn't really matter. Okay. So we got all that stuff. Uh, one more color, maybe blue. I don't know. And just be creative with that. Nice funky 70s chair. There we go. Okay. Let's say we're done. Right. What we're going to do next is we're going to go to File, and we are going to Send to Maya. Send Selected as New Scene. Now, I don't have anything selected, so it's going to ask me if I want to select everything. Here we go. Uh, yes, I do. There we go. And it's going to create a number of channels here. I'm going to select that I want to save it on my desktop. And I'll just call this Chair Color. Okay. And I'm uh, oh, sorry, that's a directory name. Excuse me. Uh, choose my desktop. Yes. There we go. And OK. So we'll get rid of this. Don't save. So here's our chair. And what we're going to do next is we're going to select this chair. We're going to right click, go to assign new material. We'll do a simple Lambert. And what we're going to do next is we're going to go into our Lambert, hit our checker box here, and we're going to plug in a file. And the file that we're going to plug in is the diffuse map that we just created in Mudbox. Okay. So we're going to hit File. We're going to hit our folder. We're going to go to our desktop. And uh, let's see, where is it? That should be this one. And it is. And we're going to hit Open. And we're going to hit this guy. And there you go. So that's all there's to it. Very easy. So uh, have fun with that. All right. See you guys next time. Bye. 